where to look, right, to find his feet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's 201. Say you got the same position. I took it out in first because I want you to start looking your foot. It's not a big bump, I just got to elevate, right? So when you elevate, what really makes this guy go When I elevate, that foot gets heavy. And if my, my upper body do this, is what's making him tumble and get off balance. And then the pick just secures it. But I still have that same foot lock in here. So I step in and elevate. And all I do is block that foot so it can't get away before I, I drive you over. Listen, you want to practice this one and need to practice it, just leave this leg out here. Just, just stand. Bring it up. Step it up. Step it up. Just practice doing this. Literally, you just got to learn how to kick it off. You get better and better doing this, and then you start working the circle up, right, circle up. You're going through them with that arm. Taking that here. Don't kick him below the knee. Don't him up. And this one, you're not kicking it to your hand, but you're blocking it the same way. So when I elevate this one, all the way's there. Hold, it's there. Get you before he gets out of there. We did a lot of talking about having something to push against. So my elbow's in the armpit again. When I take that two on one and elevate him, my elbow's in the armpit, driving through. All that weight goes to that. Let's finish with that. We already have one to get to. All right, one, two. Otter. Oh,